Hey there, it's Terry here. So, hi, it's Terry, and I just wanted to do this video to show you how to register for World Tour. So, as you can see, I'm logged into my dashboard, my Sensi dashboard, and on the left hand side, depending on how you're doing this. So, if you're doing this on your cell phone, you're going to see the three lines at the side. You're going to look for the drop down and you're going to look for events. So, regardless if you're on a computer, which is what I'm on right now, or on your cell phone, regardless, you want to go to the events button or tab <laughs> on your dashboard. So I'm just going to click on that. It's going to give you a bunch of options. OK, so first thing is you're going to see at the very top on the left hand side. These are the upcoming events. Everything on the right hand side are events you've already registered for or you've already attended either way. But these are the ones on the left you're going to look for because you're going to look for the register button. Now, if you do not plan on attending the in-person event and you want to participate in the virtual world tour, the top one here is where you want to go. Um, you can click on event info. It will open it up and it will show you all the info. Or you can click register and go there. Then you're going to look for where you are located and what world tour event you're looking for. OK, so the next one down is for Calgary, Cincinnati, Dallas, Halifax, Orlando and Knoxville. That one's taking place um, February 19th. Scroll down if you're in Mexico, scroll down for Quebec City, for uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico. The next one is Bellevue, Denver, Montreal, Omaha, Orlando, Raleigh and San Francisco. Um, next one is Albuquerque, Baton Rouge, Boston, Meridian, and St. Louis. The next one is Detroit, Houston, Minneapolis, Mississauga, National Harbor, Oklahoma City, and Ontario, California. Okay, so make sure you understand that if you're in Ontario, this Ontario is for California. If you are in Ontario and you want to attend the in-person, this is the one you want. You want Mississauga, okay? So you're going to see the register button. Now, I've already registered because I'm attending the in-person one in Mississauga. So I'm just going to show you just using someone else, using another country's or another place. I'm going to click on register. You pick the one that you want, and you're going to go to that one, OK? So now you're going to see the details, the event details. So this, you want you to read this over a lot. This is important for you to read, OK? Um, it talks about what's going to happen what they're planning on doing because this is a world event so they're going all the way across north america europe australia new zealand okay with 45 stops that's a lot of stops all right so and it'll show you basically what's going on what they're planning on doing it'll also show you an agenda the agenda is subject to change so depending on a lot of variables that go on but the rough approximate is the doors will open and there'll be a product display for you to view take pictures videos whatever between 8 and 9 a.m from 9 a.m to 11 30 a.m will be general session one so that's when they open that's when they talk about a bunch of things um and and all the training and stuff that you're going to be getting as well as product reviews like showing you the products and so on and then from 11 30 to 1 your lunch on your own i recommend that you bring snacks with you um depending on where your location is you can check to see what's around um for for you as well your venue may not allow food on the premises so you may have to leave the premises so it's really good that you do your research to figure out where your venue is what's around some people do sneak snacks in because they have to uh, for their own health reasons, right? Um, and anyway, uh, general session is from a last one. The closing general session is from 1 to 4 p.m. The session ends at 4 p.m. Um, and the general sessions will feature a combination of home office presenters and consultant speakers. Your registration started, uh, it said yesterday. It didn't open till, I didn't see it till today. Um, but it ends December 31st. So if you plan on registering after that, it literally closes December 31st. It's really important that you are reading this. Even if you're considering it and you're not 100% sure, do your research. This is about your business, okay? When you invest into events like this for your business, people who show up to these events typically do extremely well in their business, okay? The cost is $66 Canadian. So if you're in the US, I apologize. I'm not 100% sure what the cost is. Um, but if you go in there, you can find out and let me know. That would be great. These tickets are not resellable. You cannot 
get your consultant ticket and sell it to another consultant, period. Okay. Um, it includes applicable sales taxes and it's per consultant and guest. So it's $66, whether you, you're registering for a consultant ticket and a guest ticket, it's $66. It's the same price. Every person that attends the in-person will receive um, access to in-person general sessions, including the any of the trainings that are involved, the product display, and you get an exclusive World Tour 2022 spirit kit that'll include your workbook, a name badge, a lanyard that you get to wear, three Scentsy bars, and a spring summer um, 2022 catalog. So you do get uh, something for your money, okay? Plus the training. And let me tell you, these people will invest into you. So you need to invest into your business, okay? You can go over the COVID policy on your own, but basically the COVID policy is going to is going to be up. You're going to have to do your own research. You're going to have to look at where you are going. What are their laws? What are their you know the things that they're requiring um, for each location? Okay. Um, so, like in Mississauga right now, it's pretty much you can't go anywhere without a vaccine. So if you're not double vaccinated, you probably won't be able to attend. So I recommend that you do the virtual um, or you get your vaccination, okay? Um, but you can also, we can also look into that depending on where you're looking. And that may change because come the new year, the protocols may change again, because as we know, they're changing all the time. So we don't really know. Um, I agree that Sensi is in, in its sole discretion and without notice may impose safety protocols prior to world tour. Safety protocols may include proof of a COVID vaccine, which if you've been vaccinated, you should have access, you should have already downloaded your proof of vaccine um, or a proof of a negative test. Additionally, Sensi may require mandatory masking throughout the event, regardless of COVID vaccination status um, or COVID test. They may just straight up. And to, again, that may depend on the location that you're going to, wherever it is. Um, I agree that if I'm denied entrance and I'm asked to leave the world tour venues for any reason, COVID related or not, I'm solely responsible for making and paying for all the travel arrangements back home and any expenses. So you are accepting responsibility. Okay. So you go over this, take a look at, as you go. Okay. Um, and then of course, it's just the same kind of protocols. This is basically for them to say, we know that COVID's there. We want you to make sure that you are taking the responsibility for yourself. They are not accepting responsibility for you, okay? They have themselves and their team that are coming from home office to, to provide this event, okay? If you're not comfortable with this COVID situation and you do not want to be a part of it, you are not, you don't, you're not obligated to do this at, by any means, okay? But there will be no refunds given if you decide you don't want to go after the, the December 31st time period. Okay. So take a look uh, when you're ready to go after you've read all this and you're like, I'm okay, I'm registering. I'm going, I don't care. That's me. I would say a lot of people that have attended these events in the past have already registered. Okay. They're already good to go. Okay. You're going to enter all of your legal information. So your legal first name and your last name. Okay. Cause that's what's registered in with your workstation should be your actual name on your driver's license that's what they want to see whatever your emergency contact is they want to make sure they have this information especially with everything going on in the world because if something happens to you they want to be able to go in and go what's her name or what's their name and who's their emergency contact they can actually pull it up we've had in the past a couple of in-person events where we've had people who've had medical emergencies and this has been incredibly valuable for home office to be able to contact the people that needed to be contacted. It was really, really important. Okay, so once you've entered all this information, you're gonna verify everything on the other side. You're gonna come down and you're gonna see this terms and conditions. You'll see the box isn't open. You have to actually click on the terms and conditions. You can read it all over, okay? This talks about the eligibility, payments, cancel, cancellations and changes to it, virtual registration, any additional information, if you need interpretation services, so let's just say you uh, speak a different language, maybe it's Spanish, French, German, Dutch, whatever, um, and you need um, any type of interpretation, maybe you're deaf and you need a sign language interpreter. If you do not want to register a guest to bring someone with you, 
they will provide you interpretation services. They will actually, they've done this in the past where they've had sign language interpreters, they've had other people there to translate um, for them. So if you do require that, that is something that you need to register for, okay? And then just talking about additional terms and conditions. Um, so they may, if the event does reach capacity, they may have a certain limit that they're allowed at the venue. They may, they may say it's done, it's sold out, you can no longer attend. Um, unfortunately, then at that point, you can hope that somebody else on the team um, has a guest ticket that you can come with. Um, and if that's the case, I definitely would suggest that you do that. Um, as a guest ticket, you get the same exact kit as somebody as a consultant. So you're not losing out on that. The price is exactly the same. So that's something to think about. I will always re I always register at least one guest in case my husband decides he wants to come with me this one year. Um, since these things are not always his cup of tea, he's kind of more behind the scenes kind of guy. So that is always an option. Um, you can also register unlimited guest tickets. However, it is going to be the price at $66 Canadian for every guest ticket that you do, okay? Um, since he shall not be liable for injuries, you understand that by attending these events that you're gonna have your picture and video taken so that if you understand that, you waive your rights to um, inspect and approve any videos. So they're taking them and they're you're leaving them to creative license, okay? And a general a release, attendees, attendee releases, uh, forever discharges Sensi, and it's just legal jargon and stuff like that. So once you're done that, you can click OK. Once you've got to the bottom, now it'll open up the box and now you can go save and continue. OK, it may not let me do it because I didn't do my other <laughs> if I knew that was going to happen. OK, so let me just go show you what I what I've done so that you can kind of follow along with it. I'm just going to go back in and where I registered. OK. Sorry, it's delayed because I'm on Zoom. So I've entered all my information. I've clicked my box. I'm clicking save and continue. So once you've done that, now it's going to give you the option to choose the venue that you're going to go to. So you've selected that date. You've Your options are up here. So you've chosen your options. Now you get to choose the venue that you want. So basically, you're going to go to the venue. You're going to click edit. OK. It's going to have all the information at the top. And it's it got this drop down menu. So once you've added it, you will say add and save. You'll see the venue information is here, okay? Once you've clicked add and save, it will pop it up down here at the bottom until like you have to click add and save for it to show here. Once you've done that, you're gonna click back to registration. I'm gonna just hide this panel. Oh, let me try that again. There we go. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll see that you'll see that the price has gone in there. So you'll see that where it says quantity one, the price is there. Now you're gonna scroll to the bottom. Now, if you need interpretation services, you're gonna add it here. Um, this information, I don't know what this exactly meant. Um, it didn't see anything in there that would make a difference. Probably if you needed other interpretations, things like that. Okay, now at the very bottom, you're gonna scroll down, you're gonna see register a guest. This is where you're gonna register a guest. So if you click on this, it will give you the information to register a guest. Um, it will give you the information to, like, so you have to add all of their information because they may be asked at the door to show their ID. So you need to add them. Now, if you're not 100% sure who you're gonna bring as a guest, put your significant other, your mother, your sister, whoever, anybody over the age of 18, Put their name in here okay it'll ask you to what the, your relationship is with that person so what the relationship is to you um you can anything with the little star is required okay so you need to put their date of birth whatever uh in my experience they have never usually checked this information but you can always go back and edit it okay so you can always go change it afterwards um and then making sure their address and everything as well um and then you can go and save um you can do saving save current guests. I'm just going to delete this one because I've already got a guest added. I've already added my husband. So you'll see here, once he's been added, uh, then you have to come up here and you have to click edit again uh, because you need to add their ticket. Okay. So you need to go in, you need to add and save. Once it shows up down here, you can go back to registration.
Okay, now once you're done that and everything else is done, you can go down here, you can go continue to payment and then pay out the way you normally would with anything else. So you have your options between credit card and PayPal. Okay, so I hope that helps. I hope that you guys get registered. One other thing that you should know, you can register for an in-person event and the virtual event. So if for whatever reason you're like, you know what, I'm doing both. I know that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be registering for both because sometimes when you go to these in-person events, you miss a lot of the training because you're connecting with so many other people. You're hanging with your team. You're just having a great time. So sometimes you may not be as open to the training aspect of it. So the virtual events are great because then you can get those, those other, all the content from a virtual event as well. Uh, so it's kind of best of both worlds. Now you will have to pay an additional $66 to register for the world tour thing, but you will also get the virtual kit in addition to that. Okay, so something really to think about. I know I'm registering for both. I think that it's a great opportunity. I know that I'm going to be so busy wanting to hang out with the people who are actually coming in person. Um, these in-person events are so much fun. They're such a great way to connect with other people, learn from other leaders, learn from just other consultants, then getting to meet the people that you see their names on Facebook and stuff like that all the time. Um, they are a ton of fun. They really are. And I, I cannot wait because it's been way too long since we've done in-person events. Um, yes, I'm sure COVID protocols are going to be a big part of that, but I think that's just going to be a normal part of our life. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. I cannot wait. And I cannot wait to see who attends Mississauga. Um, yeah. And uh, I hope you guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.